an unspeakable act. A Baltimore man accused of sexually assaulting a developmentally disabled man when authorities say the suspect admitted to detectives. That is our big story tonight, the sexual assault of a 24-year-old man at a Baltimore City assisted living facility. Police say they have arrested and charged a 63-year-old employee with the crime and they say there may be other victims. 11 News reporter Karen Campbell is live downtown at police headquarters with the details. Karen. Well, that employee's name is Gary Toft, and it is unclear if it is unclear how long he worked for the company, the assisted living facility that he was working for, or it is unclear how long he was taking care of the man that police say he sexually assaulted. Now, police say Toft admitted to two other sexual crimes that happened in other jurisdictions. Now they say they are afraid other victims may be out there. Police say this man, 63-year-old Gary Toft, sexually assaulted a 24-year-old developmentally disabled man he was caring for. The incident happened in this home along Edna Avenue, a home used as an assisted living facility. Investigators say Toft was working for a company called Creative Options as a residential counselor. Why would you prey on someone that can't really communicate what is going on to anyone. Police say staff members called 911 on September 20th, the day the victim reported the assault, but the incident occurred six days prior. During their interview with him, he confessed not only to this incident, which occurred on September 14th, but to two additional incidents, which occurred in other jurisdictions. It's just horrifying. You know, it's hard to find. I, you know, you never would have thought. You wonder what the qualifications are. In a statement to 11 News, Monica McCall, the president of the company, writes, This is a very sensitive time for creative options. For 22 years, in partnership with individuals and their families, we have made our focus the individual's health, safety, and well-being. We plan to continue to do so by allowing the legal system to complete their investigations without interruptions. We thank you all for your continued support. Toft has been charged with a slew of sex offense charges that carry a maximum sentence of about 40 years in prison. He is being held at the Baltimore City Detention Center on $150,000 bond. For the young victim in this case, Jones offers this advice. As someone being assaulted myself, for him, I would say that he has to work through it. He has to talk to people. He has to go to a therapist. He cannot blame himself and just hold it all in. He's got to get it out so that he can heal. Police have set up a hotline for anyone who may have been a victim of Gary Toff. Now, they are asking for any victims or anyone who may have been a victim in past occurrences to call them. That number is 410-396-2269. Reporting from Baltimore City Police Headquarters, Karen Campbell, WBAL-TV 11 News.